for the last 10 years, what we've been doing is we've been bringing in officers on overtime, actually, to work what we call is the Holiday Task Force. And what we do is we target the merchants, we target the mall, we target shopping centers because of the Christmas season. You know, there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of, a lot of shopping. And our goal was to reduce crime. And over the last several years, we've seen some reductions in crime in those areas during the Christmas season. You know, because there's a lot of people out there that, are, that, are, that don't have the, uh, the spirit of Christmas and they're in breaking into cars or, or purse snatching and the, or those kinds of things. The presence of the officers has deterred a lot of that stuff from happening over the last several years. A lot of them are volunteers to work the overtime. It helps them out as well. And we work the different shopping centers, um, two-man units, sometimes three-man units, some undercover units, bike patrol units, basically to make our presence known and try to deter any crime that occurs. And obviously, if crime does occur, we're right there to, to address it right on the spot. We work in two-man units most of the time on bike patrol, as many as five officers at a time. And as two-man units, we strategically target specific areas. Um, that need high visibility patrol as evident by the color of my shirt. I get in better shape, I'm out in the sun, I get to say hi to the people. I, you interact with the people a whole lot more than being enclosed in the patrol car. You know, it's, you know, you're kind of in this box in the patrol car. When you're on the bike, people come up to you and talk to you a lot, a lot more often. They, for some reason, their perception of you as a police officer on a bicycle is different than it is in a car. They're riding, they're on bicycles, they're are, they are in parking lots, they're in plain clothes. There's a variety of different techniques that we use in order to make it safe. They're doing different types of surveillance, so they may be on top of a building looking down, trying, uh, radioing officers that are on the parking lot in order to reduce any, any type of crime that they can. And it's just not, you know, we, we talk about with increase in traffic, there's increase in, in um, crashes. So officers that are working the task force also work those crashes that are in parking lots so that we can maintain the level of service within the city during the holiday times. A lot of times uh, people will call in, citizens will call in and whatnot. Uh, mall security will call in when they've watched some stuff on surveillance. Loss prevention calls us all the time and we work together with them, you know, in our online reporting and things of that nature in order to facilitate what we need to do and apprehend the suspects. A lot of times it's that and surveillance teams out in the parking lots and things like that. A lot of the shoplifting ends up just being what it is. Shoplifting, a lot of times we end up finding more stuff in the cars and tying it to other shoplifting cases out of New Bern, Greenville, Wilmington, and things of that nature. We talk about these things every year, is making sure that you, that you don't leave your packages uh, in, you know, if you put them in your car, they're locked in the trunk or they're, they're covered up with something. We talk about those things and it's, it's, it amazes me how many times somebody breaks into a car that's not even locked. You know, they'll put presents or put, uh, put merchandise that they've just purchased in a car and don't lock the car and somebody will come by and steal that, those, those things. I mean, if you're buying Christmas presents, don't leave them in the bed of your truck. Secure your vehicle. If, you, if you're buying Christmas presents and that sort of thing, you can make one trip, do it all at one time, secure it all in, in your trunk of the car or under the seats, things of that nature, because people are going to walk by your car and see that new Xbox or that new PS4 and it's Christmas for them. Last year, for example, we had no perch snatchings, which, was, which we thought was, um, was really great, that we were able to prevent those. those. And it, it's the dedication of the officers. I think those kinds of things show the quality of police officers we have here in the city of Jacksonville. They're out there being proactive. They're out there not only looking at just a shoplifting case as a shoplifting case, but what's beyond that. What, what other things they might have been involved with. How can they prevent crime? And I think that's, that's the real key. You know, because it's, it's real easy for us to respond and to take a report, but it, it's, very, it's much more difficult to try to prevent those crimes. And I think that a lot of that is the dedication of the officers that we have working. They understand what it means to prevent crime versus respond to it. Thank you.